let's get started. So, because all the flags more or less look different, we'll just move alphabetically. Well, these aren't alphabetical. Never mind. We'll just move down here. Um, missing flags? No, we're not. <clears throat> Starting with Angola. So I think Angola has a decent flag. It doesn't look very special, but you know, it's nothing bad either. They kind of have like a communist sigil on there, but uh, yeah, I'll put it in decent. It's not outstanding, but I don't think it's boring either. You know, it has something to it. Um, and then we can do uh, Algeria 2, which I think falls in the same category. It's not boring because it has something going on, but it also isn't anything outstanding. Um, I think I might like Algeria's colors a little bit better, though. I think the green, white, and red a bit more interesting than the black and red and yellow. Uh, from here, I'm probably going to lose all sense of alphabetical, but we... I think they are more or less alphabetical here. Okay, Burkina Faso. I think Burkina Faso is pretty boring. Now, the most boring would be no symbol, nothing, just colors. And it does have a star, so I think it would be ranking in lower C. Because it, again, it has at least a star on it. Uh, Burundi, I think, is a pretty good flag. I would almost rank it excellent. I think Burundi looks great. I really like this flag. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like it enough to be S tier. But it sure is a high A tier. I really like the flag. It looks different. It looks unique. Recognizable. All of that stuff. Pretty good. Benin. Benin is very boring. I'm sorry, but... We've seen plenty of three colored flags. At least it's not just a tree color. You know, at least it has one of the like uh, <clears throat> fields or whatever. One of the colors is a uh, horizontal. No, that vertical, sorry. One of them is vertical. The other two are horizontal. That's at least something, but it's still boring. I also, personal opinion, I don't think the Pan-African colors go that well together when red and green border each other. I don't think red and green bordering each other looks the best. So I think, for example, which we have here with the... Uh, what is this? The Congo? When the yellow is in between, it looks better, but when you have the red and the yellow... Uh, the dark green and red, I don't think that color matches that well. Maybe hypocritical that I put this flag above, but I don't know. I just think in the case of Benin, it doesn't look that good. Botswana. I think Botswana is a pretty decent flag. I know it doesn't have a symbol. I know that it has technically a basic color banded flag. However, I really love the colors. The light blue stands out really well. So I'm going to put it in low B tier. I mean, personally, I probably maybe would have put it higher than these two. I think the colors on Botswana just work really well together, but... I know people are probably going to say that's maybe not correct. I don't know. I'll put it in high B tier. And then we have Congo. Well, the DRC. Technically, that's a D country, not a C country, but we'll take the DRC. I think the DRC is a really good flag. I think it looks great. Might not be the most unique. And also, maybe, maybe higher B. No, I'll put it in low good. I think it's a good flag. I like the colors and the star. And the vertical band is always more unique than having straight lines. So that's something. Um, Central African Republic. It's a decent flag. I don't really know why, but I don't really like it that much. I think the problem I have is just there is too many colors going on at that point. You know, it's like they tried to squeeze in every uh, color available. And it looks a little bit crowded, I think, in my opinion. But it's not a bad flag, and it's certainly not boring. So we'll put it in low D, uh, B tier. Congo. I'll put Congo in upper boring. I mean, yes, it is vertical stripes, which is more interesting than straight lines. But it has, other than that, no creativity. Unlike the Congo, which has the little gold line surrounding the red. Here, it's just very basic. Red, yellow, green, and that's it. Ivory Coast. Um... I actually like the colors on the Ivory Coast a little better. Orange is not the most common color on flags, but it is a tricolor. It's literally Ireland, but flipped. 
there's nothing too exciting going on here. Uh, and then we have Cameroon. I'll put Cameroon in upper C tier. It is boring because it's the tricolor with a star on it. Um, a lot of African flags have stars on them. But it looks better, I think, than Burkina Faso. Um, I think it looks all right. I know I literally spent two minutes talking about how I don't like red and green together, but maybe I should retract that because I now see that this one has it and it kind of works. So forget what I just said. Cape Verde. I really like Cape Verde. I think I'll put it up here. It kind of looks a bit European though, I must admit. It kind of always reminds me of the EU because it has similar colors. But the Cape Verde flag, I think it's good. I like the stars. I like the off symmetry, but, but it looks good. A lot of colors that go well together. I think it's a good flag. Um, then we have this is Djibouti, I think. Djibouti. So I'll put it in upper, maybe lower B tier, because it isn't boring per se. I think the colors are pretty good. I think white, light blue, light green, and red is not something you see too often. So I'll put it up here, but it's nothing like extraordinary, you know. Egypt. Uh, I'm tempted to put Egypt up here in B tier because it is a decent flag. But it's not like a very exciting flag. I don't think these flags are the most interesting. And also it doesn't help that Syria, Iraq and Yemen have essentially all the same flag. Just with either no symbol or a different symbol in the middle. But I do think Egypt with their eagle kind of cool. We'll put it in low B tier because otherwise it is a tricolor. But the colors work well and it's also Egypt. Eagle looks cool, so yeah. Now this flag, I uh, actually, I think this is Western Sahara, right? Not technically officially a country, but Western Sahara, I'll put it in low B tier too. I actually like the colors here a little better. I like the green better than the red. I like green a lot. Uh, actually, I'll put it above Djibouti too. I think it looks pretty good. I think they got something going. Um. Uh, Eritrea, I think, okay, listen, Eritrea is creative, I'm not gonna lie there, but I don't really like it. I don't think it looks that good, but it's not ugly, it's not boring, it just isn't the most exciting to me. Ethiopia, I think, is a high B tier, it isn't the most, actually, maybe even, I'll put it in low A tier, I think it looks really good, nothing wrong with it, I like the... The symbol in the middle, because it's big, so you can actually really make out what it is. On many of these others, it's so small that you need a microscope to see what it really is about. But this one is very easy to see, you know? And it's also a star, but they did it more creatively than they did with well, all of these other flags. That's a plus. This one is... Uh, is this Gabon? Right? This is Gabon. I've forgotten these flags, bro. Gabon, basic tricolor. I do like the colors. It's a more unique uh, tree color than we've seen elsewhere, but it's still boring. It's just three colors. Uh, what is this? I've forgotten. Is this Guinea-Bissau? Or is this Guinea? I should know this stuff. No, this is Ghana. Never mind. Memory memory loss, but I, I get back. Okay, Ghana. Uh, I think Ghana, I like the black star a little better than the yellow because it adds another color, but it's still boring because it's three color. And then we have Gambia, which I think is like a low, maybe above, above Burkina Faso. It has some colors to it. Uh, I know people are probably going to say, why did you rank Botswana so high? But this color, which is our flag, which is essentially the exact same, but with different colors. So low, I just like the colors on Botswana so much. Um, but yeah, I think this is a decent flag, but it's boring. It's it's a, it's a quattro color, technically speaking. And then we have Guinea. Uh, we can put that as far down on the B, uh, D tier. It's not an ugly flag, but it isn't anything unique. Um, Eritrea. Is this Eritrea? This is not Eritrea. This is Equatorial Guinea. Right? Why is Equatorial Guinea here? It should be up in the E. Yeah, Equatorial Guinea, similar to Eritrea, it's not ugly, but it just doesn't interest me that much. But I think I like it better than Equatorial Guinea, though, uh, or Eritrea, sorry. We'll put Equatorial Guinea down here. And then we have Guinea-Bissau, 
which uh, once again, it isn't anything too unique. I'll put it in the middle of C tier here. Kind of like it a little bit, but it's nothing too special. Kenya, easy A tier. Almost S tier. The only thing I think about Kenya is that the colors are a bit dull. The shield is the same colors as the rest of the flag. So it doesn't stand out as much as it's a different flag, which we'll get to fairly soon. But it's definitely high A tier. I think I like Burundi a little better. I just, it's something about that design. It's so sleek, but Kenya has a really good flag. Moros also has a pretty good flag. I'm not quite sure if I would put it in upper B tier or lower A tier. I'll put it in upper B tier. It's it's kind of similar to a lot of other ones like Western Sahara and a lot of the Arab countries, but it's uh, it's kind of cool with the crescent. Liberia. Um, I'll put it in B, low B tier, or kind of middle of B tier. I don't really know exactly where to put it. Maybe above. Maybe somewhere around here. It's an American flag, but with one star. Not very creative, but it doesn't look bad. I think it looks pretty good. Lesotho, another one that goes in B tier. A lot of decent ones here. A lot of B tier, I'm sorry about that. Um, where do we put it? I don't know. I like it probably kind of up here. I kind of like it. Uh, I always thought that was an anchor, but I think it's a hat. What is that? Is that a hat? I've never been able to make out what that symbol is, but it looks cool. All right, Libya. Now, Libya has had a very good upgrade to their flag because it used to be all green, but it's like lower B. Like we've seen, there's so many crescent flags and this one is a decent one, but it's nothing too extraordinary. Actually, I'm gonna change my mind. I'll put it up here. I think it looks more creative than Egypt and these other ones. Morocco, very, very high C. Well, I don't know. I don't feel, I feel like it's not really fair to put Morocco higher than these because these flags all have more creativity than Morocco. It's literally red with a star, but at least, is that really fair? I don't know if that's fair. I'll put it down here. It's literally red with just a tiny star. Madagascar, I'll put down here. Put it, like, maybe, maybe here. It's nothing special. And then we have uh, Mali, which I'll put... I like the brighter colors of Mali a bit more than Guinea, but they're essentially the exact same flag, so there's nothing really to say, uh, except kind of boring. Uh, this is Mauritania, but it seems to be missing some of the red on the edges. But it's like a high... It's like a low B tier. It's interesting that the crescent is facing upwards instead of sideways, but... Other than that, it's nothing too ordinary. Um, Mauritius... Let's see, where's Mauritius? Mauritius would probably be in the middle of boring. It's just four colors. But I'll put it up here. I... I... I I kind of think it's more creative than Ireland, but I do like the Gabon flag, so. Now, Malawi, I think, has a pretty good flag. I actually really like Mali. I like the sunrise. Um, colors are maybe not the best, so let's put it, like, above Ethiopia, maybe. But it's still a good flag. Mozambique, too, has a pretty swagger flag. I like the AK-47 on it. Uh, yeah, I'll put this probably, like, up here. It's really good. Maybe not portraying the best message, but that's in the eye of the, what's that? In the eyes of the beholder, right? In that phrase. Namibia, I also think Namibia has a decent flag. I know it's maybe not the most creative, but I do really like it. I like the sun, sun design. It's essentially the DRC, but slightly different. So I think it's a little better than the DRC, but they're more or less the same. We're getting close. Uh, Niger is basically India, but light version. It looks good, though. I'll put it, like, in the middle of C. Nigeria is... I, it's an iconic flag, but it's still very basic. I'll put it on the bottom of very boring, because it isn't really unique. It's literally just green with white in the middle. Uh, Rwanda... It's like 
in here somewhere. I do think Rwanda has a charm to it. The sunrise again, but been done better. I do like the colors on it though, so I'll put it here. Seychelles, it's on either, yeah, it's on top of, well, I don't know. It's just, it's interesting, but it's also just not really all that fancy. I'll put it maybe below Gambia. I'm just trying to speed through them at this point. Um, so what do we have now? We have a lot of... We have a Sudan. Eh, it's like on the bottom of boring. It has a triangle there, but otherwise it's nothing too exciting. Maybe a little more exciting than Burkina Faso. Sierra Leone. It's very boring, but I do like the color. So we'll put it on the top of very boring. Senegal. Um, it's... It's just like all of these other ones, but with a green star, so I'll put it here. I think the green star is the most boring color on the star. Somalia. Um, well, is it really bo very boring? No, it's not very boring, but it is boring enough. I'll put it on the bottom of C. It's just two colors. Just, well, it's technically just Morocco, but even more basic. But the star is a little bigger, and I think blue and white works better than green and red, so... Is this really fair? Maybe not, but I'll I'll let it stay there. And then we have South Sudan, which I actually think has a pretty swag flag. I mean, it looks much better than the other triangles because it has more lines, a little bit more design to it. I think I'll put it up here, possibly actually all the way on top of B tier. Then we have Sao Tome and Principe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing all of these names properly, by the way. Sao Tome and Principe. <laughs> or Principe. I mean, it is kind of cut a little bit, but it's not the most exciting thing. I might like it just a tad bit more than Eritrea, but I think I like Equatorial Guinea a little better. So I will leave it here. Now this is an S tier. I think Swaziland has a beautiful flag. This is what I meant with Kenya, by the way. Like, this one has more color, more design. It stands out far more. And I also really like the, the rest, like the blue, gold, slash yellow, and red looks really cool. I think this is an S tier flag. And then we have Chad, which is honestly going to the straight bottom of B tier because they just copied Romania, made the, the blue just one shade darker, and that's it. Togo. Now you might notice that I'm not putting a lot of countries in F tier, and that's because I don't think there's a lot of flags that are very ugly. Because you gotta really be an ugly flag to end up here. Most of these are boring, but you could see D tier as the alternative F tier, because they're boring, you know? Togo, I think it looks sleek, but um, where do I put it? I'll put it above Egypt, somewhere around there, I think it's fair enough. Probably could have adjusted some of these, but I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, Tunisia. Tunisia is next. Uh, where do we put that one? Well, it's... It's boring. It's kind of boring. I think it's... It looks cool. It looks sleek. I'll give him that. I'll put it, like, here, maybe. Seems fair enough. Tanzania is... I'll put it lower, I'll put it in decent. I think I like it just a little bit more than some of these other ones. I think the colors work well, but it's also not the most exciting thing, so... Putting it anything above here would maybe be a little unfair. Uganda, I think Uganda's flag looks pretty swagger. It... It looks pretty swagger, but I don't think it looks... I'll put it in, bo in low A tier. I'll put South Africa in up in S tier. I just... It's such an iconic flag, all right? Maybe that's the most boring way to do things, but it just looks fantastic. What can I say? They really nailed the flag. It looks good. It has a lot of colors on it, but they don't look too crowded. And it's very, very recognizable, which is something I think most of these fail to do because as you see down in the boring category, they all look pretty much the same. Maybe it's a little unf- Actually, is it- up A tier, or I'll leave it in S. But you can consider maybe these three on top of good tier as maybe S as well. Now, here comes the only F tier, okay? Zambia. 
Listen, I'm nothing against Zambia. I love Zambia. It's a beautiful country. At least that's what I've heard. I haven't been there, but I love Zambia. I want to go there one uh, one uh, day at some point. However, their flag is just not it, okay? The proportions are really weird how like 90% of the flag is green, but then they also squeezed in a weird tree color sideways in the corner with an eagle. It's just, it doesn't work in my opinion. I just don't think this works. It looks strange, you know? The colors just don't fit that well together, in my opinion at least. I think it just doesn't look good. Uh, again, nothing against the country, I just don't think the flag looks good at all. However, Zimbabwe, I think I like just a tad bit more than Uganda, but it's, they look very similar, easy to mix these two up. And with that, we've completed the tier list, so write all your hate down below. I'll see you with the next continent, which will be 